My name is Dane Jorgensen. I'm the president owner of BEJ Grading here out of Omaha, Nebraska. It used to be Jorgensen Grading. My grandfather started it back in the 60s and then my dad ran it and here in the last four years we started building the company back. I'd be a third generation. Started doing subdivisions about four years ago and came across these KTEX and tried one out and fell in love with them. As far as fuel consumption being competitive and yardage hauled in the day, they just nothing beats them. We primarily use these on, on housing developments where if we have a shorter haul, we, we self-load and push loading them, we can raise, raise production by about 30%. So when we can, we do that. Loading doubles alone takes about a minute and a half in decent material. Push loading it, we're able to knock that down between 30 and 40 seconds, which is huge. All around, I, the, the best investment we've ever made is this quad track with the ox block on it. On these, having the, the, the wings on the side of the cutting edge matched with the cutout in the apron, just you can funnel that dirt and stack it. It loads quicker. It gives you a wider range of materials you can work in. Sand, you can get this thing more full than you could any of the others. Normally you can't heap it, it's just a, a struck, but on these you can get it heaped. The maintenance on these is, is very simple compared to, like we run some CAT 627s, they've got off the top of my head about 30 to 32 grease points, whereas these on the scraper it just has two on the hitch and about six on the tractor and takes about 10 minutes versus cat where we're just spending two hours a day greasing everything. When you're looking to start up a company, what we did, we, we went and found some older stuff, inspected it, made sure it was gonna, it was gonna run for us and got us, got us going. But when you can find a place like Titan Machinery where you can take it out and rent it and they do RTOs, the cost may sound high, but when you put these things to work and see what they can do, it's kind of a no-brainer. And the old question is when starting a, a construction company, do you want to buy new and spend the investment up front, or do you want to run the gamble of buying used and have all those costs down the line? And it's worked for me both ways, but if I had to do it again and I was able to, I would start from the beginning with just using K-Tech and Case tractors.